I've been seeing a lot of vitriol online directed towards the latest Star Wars offering, and I gotta say, these people ain't fans. Some people have gotten so rigid about the sanctity of the canon that it prevents them from opening up to the stuff that they might actually enjoy. Look, The Acolyte is by no means a perfect show. It's not even the best Star Wars show, but that doesn't mean it's not Star Wars. Much of the prequel dialogue, and even the original trilogy, have lines that are delivered fast and intense and sometimes more fast and more intense. The end result is a soap opera set in space, or stay here with me, a space opera. Which if you've been paying attention to Star Wars for much of its existence, that's pretty standard for the franchise. People up in arms about another unnatural birth negating Anakin Skywalker's entire existence are not looking to engage with the media rationally. These people are mad before they even hit play. Each week, they sit down to watch a Star Wars show, desperately searching for something to be mad about. So if you're one of these people, Stop that. S stop that. Learn to engage with the material. Instead of being mad, it doesn't fit your idea of what that thing is supposed to be. So before I go, here are a few things about the Acolyte I appreciate. I love that the show continues on the themes Ryan Johnson set up with The Last Jedi. I love the Wushu-inspired hand-to-hand combat that has been so prominent throughout this series. As for the lightsaber combat, the fifth episode gives us some of the most interesting lightsaber choreography that I would put alongside this and this. The story we've gotten has remained interesting from episode to episode, which is why some of the abrupt endings have been so frustrating. I'm very interested to see how this mystery unravels. We got the reveal of the Master in this most recent episode, which was shot as less of a gotcha and more like a confirmation of what many of us assumed. Also, quick shout out to Manny Jacinto. What an interesting character Chimere is. I can't wait to see more. We have three episodes left and I honestly have no predictions as to what could happen. And it feels great to just let it go and see where this story leads us. I'm hopeful Leslie Headland has a good ending in store for us. What do you think of the Acolyte so far? Let me know in the comments, and as always, I've been Barista Brand, and you've been awesome.